Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When I look at your brand and the way you move, ain't nobody really doing what you're doing, bro. That, that's out of these areas, to be real with you. Um, I see you. I hear the conversations, man. The, the industry dudes and, and the people that you rock with, the Chris Browns, the Young Thugs, and all the people that you always speak highly of, you mm-hmm. know. Um, how, do, how, do, how do you come from Fort Worth and then start to build those type of relationships, you know, because you got to have some big cojones to say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm going to go in here. But it's the same way, like, when you come in here, your energy right now, but they, it takes growth. Correct. You see what I'm saying? When Correct. you first hit the scene with them niggas, because I know, because you know I'm a nigga that hit the scene. That's a fact. How did you, how did you, like, I'm supposed to be in this damn room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, bro. Uh, one thing I learned as a young nigga, as a young man, if you don't think you the shit, nobody going to think you the That's shit. That's 100. So, like, since I was way younger, I carried myself like I was important. Because I felt like I was important. Mm-hmm. Because as a when I was 16, bro, I was inducted in a BMF at the age of 16. I met Big Meats. I met Slim. I met Baby. I met Jeezy. I met T.I. All these people. I was around them at the age of 16, 17. So I became, I started being around them so much that they inducted me into their life. But how did you how did you get to be around him? Because of your dad? No, see that shit was strictly like it was a fluke. It's crazy. I'm gonna tell you though. <laughs> how the hell did you get in the circle? I hate to say it because I don't want to lead no young kids the wrong way, bro. No, no, but no. But I gotta no. keep it real. Keep it real. It was game banging, cause okay. So um, if anybody from Texas, they more than likely heard of a a, a company called Boomtown. Okay. Boomtown used to shoot videos. He shoot yeah, movies. Yeah, I know Boomtown. I he know. He from Port Arthur, yeah. but he was known from Houston. Mm-hmm. He was a part of Shoe Shine Boys, which was Bun B and Pimp C. Them yeah. before they blew up. That's right. A lot of stuff like that. So my uncle Darrell ended up marrying his cousin. So I married into his family, into Boomtown's family. And my uncle was like, he's really my cousin, but you know when you got an older cousin, nigga so old, you call nigga your uncle. Mm-hmm. So this is who he is. And he basically like, yeah, you know, my wife, uh, cousin, do this music shit, and he do videos, and he introduced me to Bone. And he came to a family reunion one year, and I was like, I'm finna rap for this nigga. Like, I done looked him up, I know who he is, and I rap for him. And his brother was like, you ever heard this little nigga? And they grabbed me, and he just snatched me up. I never went home after that. Bone was like, fuck that, you living with me. Damn. I moved in with him, and he taught me how to record myself. But at the time, the nigga didn't really have no paper. That nigga didn't have no paper, he just had the little name. He was trying to play professional football, he didn't, and he did his video shit. So he was holding a big camera. We a team. I'm holding a little camera, nigga. Already. You feel me? People think Boontown this and that, but he doing this. I'm working with him. I'm on your team. Mm-hmm. And we was filming uh, Steve Jackson. He played for the Pacers. Steve Jackson, NBA player. We filming him in Houston. And all his niggas is in the camera. They throwing up blood, big, big blood. Woo, woo, woo. I'm a crip. I'm a real crip. As I'm recording it, I just can't take it no more. I pull the camera down, I walk out, cuz I'm not shooting this shit no more. Steven Jackson followed me outside and he like, what's wrong with him, boom? What's wrong with your man? And he said, man, he tripping. Steve Jackson talked to me, he said, what's up? I said, man, I'm a crip. Y'all niggas disrespect, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, nigga, I'm a crip. And he was like, look, don't grab the camera no more. You get, you don't get behind the camera, you get in front of the camera, you represent your shit. Wow. And he let me rep my shit. He asked me, did I rap? I said, hell yeah. He let me rap in the camera against his artist, Jabali. I never, I never forget it. I rapped, and he said, you too hard. You want to perform tonight and open up for Bun B? My first show of my life, I opened wow. up for Bun B in Beaumont, Texas. Whoa, that's that's heavy. That's, that's heavy, man. Shout out Steve How Jackson. How did you feel? I, I ain't going to lie. I'm just, I always been so eager. Like, I was never scared. I wasn't never nervous. I was more eager because... I never really rapped for nobody, and they didn't say, you hard. So you, it's so like you, I knew it. I just wanted to do it for more people. You did this for UGK? No. So this the time Pimp C was locked up. So you we had, tell you. So it was about 10 cars following us. Everybody had free Pimp C shirts on. All the news was bloods. So in the process of this, it was one nigga following Steve Jackson the whole time. In all black. Everywhere Steve Jackson went, he followed him like a shadow. When I got on stage, 
Before I got on stage, Steve Jackson out on his head, red rags. Steve Jackson took me to get a blue rag. He said, I know you, I know how you feel deep about your shit. Go get your rags. I got two rags. I put one around my left wrist and I put one around my mic. When I was finna perform, a nigga stopped me from the backstage. He said, hey, hey, come here. It's the same black ass nigga that was following Steve Jackson. And he said, Cause I like how you rip your shit Cause I fuck with you <laughs> he, has, he been saying nothing all night On wow. my kids He never said nothing all night Until right then Come to find out This nigga was Big me One of his right hand mans You know what oh, I'm saying man That's and the way And his, his name Neil And that's my brother And just so happened After that day He was Tip head of security Jeezy head of security Jock head of security all them niggas. So when he came back and I was telling my niggas in forward, I know me them. They were like, nigga, you don't know them, them niggas rich. <laughs> and I called my nigga and when I answered, he said, Super Crip. Super <laughs> Crip. And that nigga was like, oh, and he fucked with me. And every time they came, he invited me. And to me, them saw me so much. All them niggas inducted me and my man. brother into this it's shit. It's something about being real, man. You know, God, man, and God got God made that happen too. You know, cause you you went in all your 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 whole thing evolved from there, right? That's a fact. So so you know, and and look what you where you at now today. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.